Hello guys and welcome to King TV with me Nancy Kaunda and today ish oh my goodness today I am honored to have an amazing guest with me he is a travel vlogger and much much more his name is Adam and yeah I'd like us to have a conversation get to know him a little bit better leo alikuwa na meet and greet hapa English point and yeah so let us start the interview how are you doing doing amazing fantastic thank you for having me you're welcome um, i wanted to ask why travel you know you could have done so much content other content but you chose travel why is it travel i think so i first started traveling in 2018 for my first time ever and as soon as i did it for the first time by myself i just fell in love instantly it showed me so much how how, how much exists outside your comfort zone and your bubble of where you grew up how many people you can meet experiences you can have and i just want to be able to keep doing that and then share all my experiences and stories with the world and hope to like inspire other people too in the process oh, that's nice so what made you like decide you know what i want to come to kenya i want to explore and see what kenya has in store for you <laughs> first of all i've never been to the continent of africa my whole life and I've heard from so many different friends Kenya you got to visit Kenya so beautiful the people are so amazing so I was like why not if like I might as well just go now you know mm -hmm. so I was able to through like videos I was able to get a sponsorship to help me like afford to go here mm -hmm. and I just went for it and I've been here for 3 weeks so far and it's been amazing the people so friendly mm -hmm. and it's just yeah it's so diverse so much to do it's yeah you know you're a very private person. You've been here for three weeks and we've just known today. <laughs> Why did you decide to hold a meet and greet? Oh, so me and Rajveer were having a dinner right across there and we were talking about how can we make this day, you know, like memorable, spontaneous. How can we like do something to make the day count? And we're like, we, we need to meet people. And then we we're thinking about how, how many people were talking about how they want to meet us and meet up and stuff mm -hmm. and there's so many like interesting people around Mombasa so like what if we just invited as many strangers as possible from online to have a meet up in three hours and like no plan that's it we'll just put it out online so we just did it we just threw out stories and we're like okay let's see what happens and so many people were like yeah like I'm down I'm down and look what happened we were able to meet so many like amazing people so many awesome stories that I feel so inspired just yeah, it's it's been an awesome. What is that one travel hack that you can give to someone? Travel hack? Um, I'd say if you can a, a lot of people the biggest barrier to travel is both money and also the fear of traveling because it's like it's so new. It's sometimes it's, it's so scary to try something new. For money, I'd say try to travel somewhere near you. If you're in the US, maybe travel to a different state that you haven't been to. If you're, you know, travel, if you're somewhere else, travel to like a country near you or even in the same country. There's so much, I'm sure that you haven't explored of Kenya and there's places near you. So there's always a way. And for fear, I think you really, you're, you'll never be ready. There, you can do a l so much research, but I, there's never going to be a right time to just like go for it, to go for that travel experience. So I think it's all about having that fear, doing it anyways. That's the key. And when you started out, were you like scared? You're like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? So much. Like, I always watched so many TV shows and YouTubers. I was like, I want this lifestyle. None of my friends wanted to travel with me. And I was just so scared. I was like, how do I start? But then I found this one friend that really inspired me that traveled the world for a year. And I, was, I asked him, how do you do it? He's like, man, you just got to pick one country, pick one place save up like a little bit of money because you can do things for it cheaply if you're able to like rough it up a little bit you know live in a hostel or whatever and you just got to go for it you just got to go for it and yeah that's i just did that and it changed my life opened up such a huge world and how has the journey been so far since you started until right now absolutely incredible like it it sounds cliche but it literally changed my life i met my best friends by traveling I, met, I, I came across experiences that just completely inspired me and like show me how beautiful the world is and how amazing life can be just by traveling. And I, I, I want to do it for the rest of my life. 
And what are some of the challenges that you have faced along the way? <laughs> so much. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's hard, especially with like the systems we have now to be able to travel. You know, you need to make money, you need to have a job. People have responsibilities, your family and stuff. So there's obviously all of that that I've had to face and I, a lot of people have it like really hard. Um, and then also there's just like along the way, you know, you get sick. I've had to go to the hospital. I've had experiences where like people screwed me over and I've been like stranded in a certain place or I don't know, I've lost opportunities. It's, it, 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 there's a lot of bumps along the road and things that always go wrong. But at the end of the day, if you're able to like overcome those things that go wrong or not as you exactly planned, it makes for a good story. And it makes it all worth it. Once you seek that experience and have that travel experience that changes your life, it's all worth it, I think, in my opinion. And how, how did your parents react when you told them, you know what, I want to do travel for a living? They hate it. Even to this day, they hate it so much now. I mean, they're, they're amazing parents. They love me. They're proud of me. And like, I'm super grateful. But I think, you know, the, the generation above ours is kind of like more traditional mindset. So the fact that I'm, I'm not pursuing like a career that's like engineering or like something prestigious mm -hmm. and I'm doing something that's really risky, it's, they, they always like discourage me. They're always like, don't do that. You're wasting your time, you're wasting your money. Why are you doing this? You're gonna get yourself killed. Like what? Yeah, all, all this stuff. But you know, if you, if you have this calling within you to do it, I think it's important to at least try it, at least go for it, you know? And any advice that you can give any upcoming, you know, YouTuber who wants to start up a channel, a uh, travel vlog, you know, how, what would you advise them? Travel vlog? Um, I'd say look at your inspirations. If there's like a certain YouTube channel or like TV show that inspires you, maybe write a few notes of why it inspires you. And then just try to recreate something similar with like an experience that you've had. Or, um, yeah, and just put yourself out there. You're never going to have this, like, epiphany of, like, being a great videographer. But if you're able to just, you know, have that inspiration and just, like, go for it, you'll rise, like, you, you can even achieve, like, the, even in the small steps, you'll be able to achieve it. And I think with me, when I first put out my first video, it was so bad. But the people around me, thankfully, were, like, super supportive. And I think if you're able to just put out that first video, your loved ones will be super supportive and you'll just be addicted. You'll want to put out the next one, the next one, the next one. Yeah. And our female viewers would like to know, this handsome guy, is he single? Is he already <laughs> taken? <laughs> well, good news for the single ladies. I'm, I'm single, I'm single right now. Ladies, you've heard he's single, so <laughs> y'all can shoot your shots in his DMs and we'll see how it's gonna go. <laughs> okay, before we end we end it, um, there's a little there's a question I'd like to ask you. Uh, if you're told to choose between your eyes and your legs, which one would you rather have? Would you, yeah. Eyes, 100%. 100% <laughs> eyes. Because, like, legs, you could always have, like, a wheelchair. If you don't have eyes, it's, like, it's one of the most major parts of, like, life. It's, like, seeing things. So, yeah, definitely. How about you? What would you say? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would rather have my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would rather have my eyes yellow. <laughs> I can't imagine like living without eyes. Imagine just like not being able to see stuff. And it's crazy, like you we're always we always have our eyes. There's people that don't have their eyes, they're blind and stuff. So it's it's good to be grateful for that. Even the smallest things, like we're able to see and hear each other right now. A lot of people don't even have that. Last, last, the last last question. Maybe Anything that you could tell us about yourself that we don't know about you? Um, I'd say I'm like pretty weird and goofy. <laughs> I have like this mixture of like being this like travel, you know, adventure guy, or whatever. And I'm also like a nerd where like I, I have a degree in aerospace engineering, like space. 
And I'm also like really weird and I have this weird sense of humor. I'm like really like sometimes immature and goofy and stuff. So that's a little fun fact for you. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Maybe you can tell us your Instagram and YouTube handles, Facebook. Yes. So on all social medias, it's at Adam Burrow, A-D-A-M-B-O-R-O. -O. Okay, that is it, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Awesome.